say an amazing thank you for your um, purchases on the two puppets. This is a how to use your puppet video and a good look at it just before I send it um, so that you can have a good close look at it. I like to do this just before I send them. So that's the one puppet. Thank you very much. And the other puppet. Thank you so much for buying two puppets. Here's a good look at his clothing. I know I've done lots of videos, but always good to show them again. And there's his lovely tail. This is before I show it. So thank you so much for um, your order. In the box, you'll get the, you'll get the puppet, two puppets. So you'll get two puppets, two plates, and you'll get two magnets. Don't lose the magnets somewhere in your box. I think I have shown you these videos, but I'm going to send it to you again, personalize it. So there'll be a clear plastic coating on the um, on the plate. I leave it on when, when I'm making it, and you probably can leave it on for as long as you like. If it does start to bubble, that's why, because there's a clear plastic coating that you can take off um, when, it, when it decides to have its day. Um, you kind of just peel it, but I would leave it on until you see it. You'll see it peeling at the edge after a couple of times. So yeah, take it off when it starts peeling, but leave it on there until do you need it to uh, to put it on your shoulder you need to bend it in about two places kind of curving so it's about here and here sort of a nice curve that it fits over your shoulder so that's not sticking out like that so you bend it in a few places um, if you're using the magnet I'm currently not using a magnet but if you're using if you're using thick pieces of material you want, might want to use the magnet the magnet and the plate go underneath the topmost layer of clothing so it goes underneath there and that's how you use that make sure the magnet aligns with the puppet so to use the puppet, put it on there like that and it will stay on. So I'm not currently using magnet, but I'm also using um, velvet. So if, if it comes off now, it's quite thick velvet. So you can see it's quite thick. Um, sorry about my printers, it's going. So to, to use the puppet, oh, before you like to go out for the day, you like to do it, um, before we like to go out for the day, so do your puppets, grab the puppet, turn its head. It just, you'll find the first one is a bit stiff, but the next one's after that a little bit looser. Just grab it and turn his head so that it's free to move. Put it over your shoulder, grab the cord. Um, the straighter this cord is, the better the side to side motion will be. So if there's a little bit of a curve, like you can see there, there's a little bit of a curve, you just go like this and it will straighten it. Yeah, that's a bit straighter. And just go a little bit down until it's so sort of straight like that. The straighter the cord is, the better it is. Same with this, if this is a little bit curved, you kind of just pull it the, gently the other way and it will straighten it up. See, nice and straight. Okay. Okay. So now to move it, you push down one handed, you can do one handed and it will make the look up. So one handed, I'm just pushing down the top and it makes it look up. I'm holding this bit down here. If you want to do two handed, you can go like this, you get a bit more control. You can do it slower and you can go down and you can go up. To turn, like a drink bottle, you turn it, hold the turn, turn it some more, hold the turn, you go one way. If you push down, you'll get a little bit of extra turn out of him. And you go back into the middle and you do a combination of this you can watch the video a few times to make sure i'm doing it right you'll get a movement so that's how you can the other thing you can do um, is move your shoulder around you can also make it look just very subtly move your shoulder and it can make it look a bit more obvious one-handed you do that and you kind of you do that in your near your lap and people won't even notice that you're holding a controller so that's how that one moves how the other one moves I like to show them both moving before I send so that you know what you're expecting because each one moves slightly differently and I can't really control too easily how they move. Same thing, whoops, you you might need a magnet. So, push down and it makes it look up. Okay, like that. So this king walks all the way up, he's got quite good up. And then side to side, he doesn't have much of a side to side. And then push down and you'll get a little bit of a turn. There you go. And the other way. See, that way. And then back you go again. How good does he look? Look at the, look at the feathers. And the other thing you can do with this guy is just make sure the feathers are in the right.